I'm Taja Cheek. I'm the artistic director of Performance Space in New York, and I'm going to show you some works at Breeze New York. I believe performance is inherently interdisciplinary, and all of the artists and works I wanted to highlight also fall in line with that ethos. I selected Beatrice's work because of the ways that they complicate what an installation you can do, the ways that objects can be time-based. Beatrice is interested in simultaneous temporalities and thinking of indigenous histories also as not being something relegated to the past, but also thinking about it in terms of futurity. Oh, wow, I love how the feathers actually move. You can see that we're kind of responding to the motions in front of it. That's really amazing. Hello, everyone. Kimber Fowler is an iconic figure of the New York downtown scene in the 80s is an actress, a performance artist, a rock musician, so many things. I love these works because it really demonstrates the collaborative nature of Kimber's practice and also performance practice more broadly. I love the details of the posters where you can really see the mark of the artist and you can tell that they were made by him. It's really amazing to see these because I feel like I can envision what New York was like at that time. I can envision walking down the street and seeing these and being compelled to come to a performance or to see a show. What do you think? <laughs> this year, Performance Space is collaborating with Breeze New York for the very first time. We're presenting a work by Cello Man. The work is called The Device That Turned Me Into a Cyborg was born the same year that I was. The work explores Cella's complicated relationship with their cochlear implant and is thinking through the development of this technology in using it and also feeling conflicted about it. There's also a sensory element. We installed transducers under the bench that are connected to the audio of the film so you can actually feel vibrations as you watch. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! <laughs> this is an element of access for deaf and hard of hearing people, but also adds a lot to the experience of watching the film for anybody. As part of Freeze Week, I'm really interested in seeing Ellen Fullman's performance. I had an opportunity to talk to Ellen and stop by Artist Space to see the instrument. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think performance is kind of always having a moment, but it's really special to be working in performance now because I think there's just more knowledge and awareness of how it works. <laughs>